so there's nothing to say that this is on the same scale as Shadow Brokers and the NSA no. and um, Eternal Blue, because as as we know, that was an offensive cyber weapon that had been mm -hmm. specifically developed for that purpose. Mm -hmm. But it was also a weapon that was developed to target a vulnerability, which even though that vulnerability was patched by Microsoft, there was a huge amount of landscape that went unpatched. And that's why WannaCry became so successful. Mm -hmm. And on the back of it, non-petcher, because again, even after WannaCry, people still didn't get around to doing the patching. Mm -hmm. But also, we know that a large number of organisations still aren't doing dynamic, agile, ongoing vulnerability testing. So they often go for a whole year or more without even knowing that they've got a vulnerability until they get hit. Mm. You know, you're back into Donald Rumsfeld territory here. Mm -hmm. You can you can be prepared for what you know you don't know. It's what you don't know you don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> and the truth is, if you don't know that you're vulnerable, vulnerable to an attack, then your risk management is completely flawed. You're working on a false premise of security your board of not being adequately briefed mm -hmm. and you are open to attack. Mm -hmm. So do not be surprised when you get attacked. Yeah, and the and impact's the probably gonna be much greater as well. And this is a highly sophisticated, well-crafted, well-targeted attack using a combination of high level tools. Yeah. However, the mass attacks that will follow from something like this will be of a much broader scale and will be designed to attack the low hanging fruit. Mm -hmm. So do not think that because this company has been attacked possibly by a state sponsored actor, that a state sponsored actor wouldn't be interested in you. Mm -hmm. And what we know also is that it doesn't take long for these tools to make their way from a state sponsored actor into criminal and organized uh, sorry, organized criminal gangs mm -hmm. who will then proliferate it mm -hmm. either by attacking you themselves for criminal gain or mm -hmm. by selling it on to other people for criminal gain. As you and I both you know, sometimes that way it, it starts and ends with a criminal gang. You know? uh -huh. So if you state sponsored actor, actor is one thing, the key, the key in that phrase is sponsored because. Yeah. You know, they they try to pretend that they've got clean hands by outsourcing it. Absolutely, so, yeah. Did plausible um, deniability as at yeah, all times. Exactly. So it might so it might yes, plausible deniability. So it might it might stay exactly where it started, which is in criminal hands. I mean you, you, what we're seeing is a development of a whole new black ops arena, the cyber black ops, which is you know sponsored but unsanctioned plausible denial but the, the fact is that uh, organizations now need to see this as a warning you know we saw how quickly the exploit got into the wild and was then uh, produced as a ransomware attack following the shadow brokers hack on the nsa yeah you're talking weeks so organizations need to see this as a wake-up call and an early warning yeah. and they should be reviewing their system security right now. The, the world has become agile and immediate, but the security response continues to be in a waterfall environment, which means that we're still working in lots of organizations to an end of year reassessment, risk assessment, vulnerability assessment, patching. 12 months is way too long to know that you've left your front doors wide open. We need to be more responsive, more agile and more proactive about our security. And we need to be doing it now mm -hmm. because at the moment we are making it far too easy on an ongoing basis for the bad guys to attack our networks. Mm -hmm. I've said this many times, but if you go on holiday with your front doors wide open, and you stick it on a 
Instagram post with a picture of your house with an open door and telling you you're going to Tenerife for two weeks, don't be surprised when you come back to an empty house. It's only burglary because you lost property. It didn't take raffles to do it. So we need to be using this as a wake up call. It's an mm. early warning indicator that some potentially com complex attack tools, which we're not currently aware of, may have been stolen off a world renowned red teaming organization. We need to make sure that we've closed every possible door that we can to make it as hard as possible to make sure that they're diverted away from us to the easy fruit. If we don't, we're going to become one of the mass casualties of this. Absolutely, and history is going to repeat itself. Um, yeah. Yeah, because we've got more to learn point. from this as well. That's the next thing. This is going to yeah. this is going to unfold as the weeks go by. Uh, well, it, it does also show that there is a direct correlation between admitting to being on the receiving end of a cyber attack, loss of IPR, yeah. loss of information of any description really, but particularly sensitive IPR. Yeah and your share price and yes. your customer you know your customer confidence will get rattled by a successful attack as well yes yeah. we, we've all in the past refused to go back to a favorite restaurant because of one bad meal so let's not be the cyber bad meal <laughs>